you know, one more one more angle with this as far as the you know EA releasing Apex Legends like this, and you know, my initial reaction was like, wow, this is brilliant. Like, I've I've never seen a game not hyped in the in the slightest come out and do gangbusters and and you know steal a, so much of the market away from PUBG and Fortnite and give yeah. them credit for being yeah. genius is it really or did this backfire on them because they didn't want the release of this to take away from Anthem and it's, it's yeah because Anthem no, I didn't was, think was about supposed that. to be their baby but that's getting shit on and yeah, and and that so let's talk was about hyped Anthem, that's... a long time ago, and it looked amazing at the reveal. The initial reveal of that game looked incredible. You're like, wow, uh, Bioware is going to knock it out of the park with this game. Like, this looks friggin' amazing. So I uh, I think it's funny because um, Anthem. Yeah. Let's let's talk about it for a second. I like I wrote. <laughs> For our little notes, I put uh-huh. Anthem. Is it Bioware being Bioware, or yeah. do we have do we have sympathy for them? Now, people will say, "Oh, fuck you, Bioware is the best." Um, I disagree in a lot on a lot of levels. I think they're pretty overrated. But I read this really good article. Um, Jason, I forget his last name. He, he writes for Kotaku, and he's he's good. He like he's a, like legitimate journalist. Like he does like cool stories where he like meets with like a uh, former or or current uh, Blizzard employees, uh, same thing with uh, Bioware, and he talks to them, and they, hmm. he, he's anonymous, he won't give uh, current employees information to find like what's going on. And he did this big thing on Bioware when the last Mass Effect came out. And it's a really fucking sad story of how they had basically five years from the beginning to the end. So the Bioware team is like an A and a B team, right? So the, the Bioware uh, Mass Effect guys are basically the guys that made um, the old mm-hmm. Mass Effect guys are the guys that made Anthem. Um, but the the last Mass Effect game that everyone shit on as well, it's just so many things. Like, they had a five-year thing, and then they had a new creative director. They changed the engine. Then a five-year game plan mm-hmm. got scrapped down to, like, 18 months. They had to rush it out. And there's so many things that I was, that I was reading about how they had a like they outsourced EA was outsourcing like face animations to like all these like wow. outsourcing Asian companies and they just sent it back and they Gosh. threw it in the game without the team even seeing it. So if that was their baby or like yep. I mean it's your project, you know, that's your that's your game. Wow. They were just stripping the soul from it, you know. EA was just fucking ripping it apart and it kind of made me feel bad for a team like that. To, like you're you're limited big time when you have a giant publisher like EA to just pick and choose how that goes um but for anthem i thought anthem looked Mm. iffy from the reveal um the graphics were sick and it looks really awesome uh third person shooter kind of stuff for Mm. a game like that i think it's refreshing jetpacks are always fucking cool but it seemed like it had a lot of identity problems it didn't know what it wanted to be it had like a a halo destiny feel and look and yeah. I just didn't see it coming together. I didn't see enough substance mm-hmm. to see it stand out to be its own kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, which it's I feel like that's what it is. It's, uh, it. Not to mention there's a lot of technical issues with it running, which just seems like they couldn't get stuff down because the, it's a, the Frostbite engine, which is a yep. pretty tough engine, I think, for certain yeah. things. But uh, it's there's issues. Like I mean, it, it's it's way mm-hmm. too hard to run on a computer even. Like if you have you have a rig that's way above the recommend recommended specs for games that look just as good if not better than Anthem, mm. um, it's just not running that way. And it's if there's a lot of I mean they're gonna sure they're gonna patch it and they're gonna fix it, but there's been so many patches already. How many times are people gonna be cool with like waiting three months until it's at a stable different kind of spot how it mm-hmm. should have been from launch? I don't know. Um, yeah. So that's the, I mean that's my thing with Anthem. I don't want to shit much on Anthem, just because it's getting a ton of sh- it's getting shit on all over the place. But from what I'm reading, it seems like it has a right. lot of the same issues that the Even first two. Destiny had with. There's not much to do. Yeah, and and that's crazy to have the same issues from Destiny One, yeah. but worse. They're saying that 
after these two games already came and they fixed themselves, like they should know to fix those problems. But we'll see. But it's in we'll see. Interesting contrast. It's like, full circle. I think I think a lot of the companies are learning lessons on how to how to market these games and how that how critical to get the marketing right or the lack of marketing what degree do you market yeah yeah yeah. it's like the old the old school way is just like okay you want this game to be successful so market it but now too much marketing can and, destroy I mean, it completely and anthem had good shoes or had big shoes to fill in the sense that ea is always mm -hmm. people are ready to attack ea right. for killing developers and fucking them up ea's Last Mass Effect game mm -hmm. was a giant disappointment Never mind what's to going on with Star fans Wars. of the series. It had crazy... Yep. Yeah. It, that got canceled. Um, it got... And Mass Effect had crazy issues that apparently they, they fixed them all out. And they, they bug patched it and all that shit. And it, it's supposed to be a lot better than it was at launch. But that's a big day one game for like fans to get at day one. So those people finished that game... Yeah, so and then, and they told their friends that ah, this game issues. sucks. So, so they were pissed. Other people that were waiting to hear what, what they said decided they should check it out. Already soured. And then the next big thing's already out. Yep. So think about this. Mass Effect 1, people liked it. They thought it was really cool. And Mass Effect 2 yeah. came out and it fucking floored everybody. It was way, way better. They loved it. Mass Effect 3 had that ending that everyone mm -hmm. was pissed about because nothing really made a difference. They were so mad that Bioware like made a member they made like an apology yeah. and they released like a DLC content to change it the correct way and it still didn't. Then they did Mass Effect Adronima and people weren't happy with that. And mm. now we got Anthem and it's just a clusterfuck. Which brings me to my next thing. Bungie left Activision mm. and that seems to be what you have to fucking do if you're a giant team and you don't want to have that kind of pressure. Like that's and People are like, Bungie left Activision because they're the worst, and Destiny 2, yeah. they're going to change so much stuff. I don't think so. I think Bungie have, has yeah. full Destiny control, and I think what they're doing is the same, but Bungie's the same. I just think that they know what it's like working with these companies and all the shit that's mm -hmm. happening with the layoffs and just how shitty it is. Their contract ends, and they're like, let's take a chance, because I think... I think Bungie stated that they want yeah, to try to go yeah, independent. Yeah, I think so. Right? Like they might need someone I think they're gonna go to, independent. Be, to publish. I don't know if they're going to publish, but I think they want freedom from publisher pressure. They want a publisher that's going to let them put the game out yeah. when, it, when it's finished, which is the opposite of what happened with Blizzard and Act Activision. Like Blizzard's policy is this game does not come yeah. out until it's done, until it's AAA quality that's going to knock your socks mm -hmm. off. And now they, you know, active. They merged yep. with Activision, and now they've got Activision's pre pressure to make annual updates to uh, World of Warcraft, whether it's done or it's not done. Just get it out. And you know, the was it the CEO of Blizzard left, so a lot of that passion is now gone. Yeah. And you know, which is, and then you have what happened at the last last BlizzCon, and all the suits thinking that, you know. You need to push what they see on paper makes makes money. <coughs> push that, and you know what you know the the, the sure. reaction to that but mobile game was ridiculous. But you know it's like you, yeah. you're you're yeah. the way you're handling this stuff is out of touch with your with your fan base. It definitely is, and you know people got you know the fan base got a lot of yeah. flack for crying about a mobile game. It's not what they're crying about. They're they're crying about the the, the clear disconnect that has that has been created with with uh blizzard since since the early early days that's what people want fixed and you know if they had just you know yeah as as a yeah. side announced a, uh, a mobile even like a some kind of you know side game to world of warcraft on a on a mobile phone but just not make that your big big reveal like oh you know look what we're yeah. blessing you all with now and and Blizzard has has that like diehard fan appreciation right. and love, like like Valve. They're like a giant developer that people are like diehard Blizzard, and they just see these like things mm -hmm. happening. And yeah, it fucking it's, it's a blow, man. Um, it's shitty. And I think I always had a soft spot for Bungie. I think they're a fucking pretty badass, yep. like down to earth team with shit. Um, they fixed a lot of stuff, and just for the record, I had started Destiny 2 back up mm -hmm. after the Forsaken 
year two expansion and it's fucking so good and they fix so much stuff and the forsaken campaign stuff in destiny 2 hmm. is the best single player even hmm. single player Bungie shit I've ever played. Oh. It's so, 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 so. Good. Do I own it? I don't even know if so I own it. If anyone wants to play that, I'm playing on the computer, but. Oh, okay. Well, Forsaken's wow. like 30 bucks. It's like a full fledged all, like, all that stuff was supposed expansion. to be part of Destiny. You get the one. old two ones for free. Destiny, it was, it was just supposed to be Destiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember Bungie's. Baby. Like, this was going to be, you know, games as a service. Destiny was supposed to be the delivery service. For all this stuff, yeah. but somewhere that decision got yep. changed that we need to make this Destiny 2. It has to be a 2. It has to be it a, didn't. yeah, it, slap uh, a number. If yeah. Destiny 2 was released as, a, as, released as a major update or Destiny 1.5 or something, people would have accepted it, I think, just as much as a Destiny 2. Yeah. I think the... Uh... I think um, Destiny, the Destiny 1, Destiny 2 camp, it's like a different, like, you either forgot about Destiny 1, and there's some weird mm-hmm. diehards that, like, are still, like, pl- playing just the first Destiny, but, I mean, I think Destiny 2 is, like, the, mm. all right, let's get this right this time. Um, not that Destiny 1 is bad as far as, like, gameplay. I, I think Bungie has some of the best fucking shooter mechanics that you could, they're so mm-hmm. satisfying how good their shit feels when you play it. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it, it was just real vanilla. It, it it was you're like fuck what do I do you know mm-hmm. but um yeah man that's that's, that's that that's the gaming industry yeah, today that's what we are dealing with <laughs>